And here is the dishwasher that we're going to get for 32500 is we're going to try to get the 12 months zero percent interest so that's about a, about 60 dollars a month around 50 I don't know, 58 dollars a month for this so it's you put your pots and pans over here and your dishes over here and you got another one here for your silverware and the only downside is that we are going to get this display model because the new model that's coming in to replace this is $140 more expensive. So that's, so we're, we're getting like a 90% discount is that. So this thing is six, so like a 25% discount by getting this so it's almost getting like 25 percent off so if you want to get the display model so we said yeah sure why not we'll get the display model it's not like they, they're sitting there using it and abusing it so for 140 dollar savings get this thing so that's all we're here in the dishwasher so here we go, we're gonna get this thing. So get ko na. Isang beses, isang buwan, or dalawang buwan. Lagyan mo ng salt yun. And then tapos, hindi, hindi mo kailangan ng sabon. Hindi na sir, kailangan salt lang. Salt lang, lagyan mo dun. Then turn it on sa eco. Isang beses, and then lilinisin niya. Lilinisin siya. Pwede lang sa eco. Okay, I get it. So they have a cleaning system over here. You put salt in there, you let it cycle once to clean itself out. And then it's it's done. Okay, so we're packaging it back up again. Looks like we're gonna have a dishwasher tonight. Let's stick this thing in the Fortuner and be done. Okay, true believers. This is a first and I am going to be firing up, test firing this dishwasher for the very first time. So I just got it today and fortunately it was able to fit into the Fortuner and was able to go ahead and take it home with me versus if we had to wait for delivery, it would take like a week or two weeks because they were having delivery backup issues. So. I said, no, we'll just take it with us and uh, so we don't have to pay for any delivery fees. So this thing, if we got it over for 12 months, I think it's like 32,000. So it's like 2,700 pesos a month for 12 months, zero interest. So that works out to be like $54 a month for a year. So, and the reason why I started doing this is I mean, I've been doing dishes by hand and as my schedule, as our schedule gets busier and busier, as, as everybody knows, I don't believe in, in maids or drivers or, or houseboys or gardeners. I like to do all my work myself because I, I don't believe, as you can see, I have trust issues and I, I don't have a job and I don't work anyway. So I, I, most of my time is spent being a, a Mr. Mom. So here is, so between schoolwork. So anyway, so this is our, so I wanna, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of, try to clear more counter space so we don't have to deal with this like mess over here. So I figured, you know what, let's start doing, it's the new year, let's try to clear up the counter space. And I was able to fit our usual daily dishes that we use in a day in, in this thing. So it's kind of like storage and dry rack at the same time. So once it's done, you just kind of put it away in the cabinets. The only thing I wasn't able to fit in was this big pot over here. So we had a uh, palab for today. So I, so I didn't do much. As you could see, if you look over here, I, I, it's still a lot, there's a lot of like caked on food. 
you look over at this thing right here. So I, if I could scrape it, I'll scrape it and, and rinse most of the debris off. I try to get most of the food off, but I didn't spend too much time cleaning it up because that like defeats the purpose. You're supposed to just put most of it in there. So as you can see, there's, there's still like debris, like food debris in there. So I pretty much, so I mean, you can see here in the plates over here, there's some some caked on food still in there. So I still, you know, that needs to be separated like that at least. There's so the water can get in there. So there's some, there's still some caked on food in there. As you can see, even our egg slicer is in here. Some pots and pans are in here. Even a cutting board is in there. So we're gonna fire this up for the very first time. Like I said, I don't believe in maids because they're, they're a headache. And like I said, I have trust issues. So I just I just put some some liquid detergent in here. It's just some joy because we we have to order the the powder, the laundry, I mean the laundry, the dishwasher powder. So here it is. So we're gonna fire it up for the first time. So it's an Elba. Like I said, it's about thirty-two thousand pesos. So let's see what the results are. So this is what it looks like. Ta -da! So it's got the Elba and digital, so it, it fits right in there. And if you want to see what the installation is like, so you look under here. It's here in the Philippines. It's pretty standard to have a, a grease trap. So here's a grease trap. You just pick this up up on top then clean it out. So there's three connections that you have to, to deal with. So one was this right here, this uh, water line. So there's a water line right there. And then here's the drain. So there's the drain and here is the power source. So we've got a power source right there. So those are the three things. It was pretty easy to install. This is pretty much like a garden. If you look over here, it's like a garden hose kind of set up, make sure you just put some Teflon on there so it doesn't leak, get it on nice and snug, then fire it up, you're ready to go. So we're gonna be testing it for the very first time and we'll see how the results are. So what you wanna do, from what I understand here, you use your press power. Power it up, Ta -da! Okay, I'm not sure what these little red that's our, but we're gonna stick with eco. So that's good. Stick with the eco friendly. And then just press start. Ta -da. Okay. So far so good. I don't know how to adjust that time. I, I, I'll probably figure it out. Or it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna be looking at this for the time. But it's not 310. The time is not 310. So it fits conveniently under the sink. So we have, so now we have a dishwasher. We should have no problems. We should clear up all this counter space over here if this works out. So I'll let it run under eco mode and we'll look at the results afterwards. So that's, that's today's vlog is putting in a and putting in a dishwasher and using it now dishwashers when i first moved in here they didn't exist just like washers and dryers because most people do it manually and they do it by hand so like people who can afford washers and dryers can afford it much cheaper to have a maid or a house helper to do all your laundry and to wash your dishes and do all the cooking it's much cheaper than getting something like this. Now these days, it's getting to the point where it's not just, it's it's much safer, privacy, trust issues, because you know their problems is your problems. And I always say when it comes to trust, it's like you can never trust somebody that needs something from you. So if you put, if, if you have a maid here, it's like, what is it that, what, what, what are they doing when you're not around? And that's not just some, that's just not something I want to deal with. 
So I'd rather get one of these. Pay the, what you're paying for is privacy and peace of mind with that. And you know, I grew up in America, so I'm, I'm used to using dishwashers. And it's just after all this time, I decided to finally start using it again. So here it is. So here we go, firing up the dishwasher. Let you know the results. And it was, it was pretty quick when I loaded it up. So uh, I'll let you know after it's finished washing and steaming and drying. And let's take a look at the results. Okay, true believers, we ran into some problems. Well, actually two problems. The first problem was that the, since I just used regular dishwashing liquid, not the dishwasher detergent, that the suds was very, was very high. So it's, it started leaking uh, out the, the, the sudsy water started leaking out. So, which is no big deal. I just put some towels down and soaked it up and it wasn't that bad. So I, I need to get some dishwasher machine detergent that doesn't have create high su suds. And the next one was after the, with the three, the, 301 that you saw earlier that's actually the countdown so it actually the whole process takes like three hours so for the for the eco mode anyway <clears throat> and then after it finished the, all of the cycle at the end then all of a sudden i get this e3 which is an error message but i looked it up online because the manual that came with it didn't explain what e3 was it says here that e3 it says E3, it's a water heating malfunction. The water is not heated or the heating parameters are not correct. And repeat the washing program if the problem persists. So I guess at least it's not serious, like it's not draining properly or not getting enough water. So I'm going to open it for the first time and let's see what the dishes look like. So this is dishwasher machine use in the Philippines. So let's check it out. Ooh. Yeah, as you can see, it's still got a lot of bubbles, it suds because I used the, and the right temperature wasn't. So don't did what I did and use the wrong one. Looks like I'm gonna have to rinse it again. So let's see here. See, did it wash properly though? Yikes, look at that. And not really, as you can see, there's still got some dirt, some dirt, some food particles in there. So I'm not saying that uh, it was a complete failure, but it's. Uh, <laughs> Maybe because I, I didn't use the proper laundry detergent and it created this error and it didn't complete. So let's try it again. So it says it says there it's it's E3 error. So that's probably why it stopped. So let's continue again and uh, and we'll see. I, I don't know if I could stay awake this long to see how what the results are. But it, just, it says here, it says that... Uh, the water, so so repeat the washing program all over again. All right, so that's what we'll do. Repeat the washing program all over again. So put that in there. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll do a program. Probably just turn this off. How do I just, what happens if I just want to rinse it? So we just rinse. Let's see if that will work. Okay, so we're gonna try that. It says 15 minutes, maybe it'll just rinse it. Okay. Okay, here's the update. So I ran it for a second time I, after all that soap. But as you can see, it's not, didn't quite clean it properly. 
So I'm not gonna run it again. I'm just gonna wait for the proper soap and just clean what we have. If it's clean, I'll go ahead and put it away, but if it's not, then we'll just wash it again by hand. But right now I'm just gonna wait for the, we have to order the, the dish washer machine actual powdered detergent for this and also it needs salt and it also needs a rinse aid so we have to order that probably take a week before we can get this thing to run properly but then after that then I'll hopefully I can do a proper review of it right now because I can't because there is no I don't have the proper di dishwashing machine detergent I don't think I'm getting the right results okay well that's the update so, but at least it's here, we got it, it's working. We just need to get the proper reagents and we should be fine. That's the update. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. This is Bev Tolman. Okay, my, and my final thought about this is I, I like it. And the uh, main reason is I finally got to declutter a lot of the counter space, as you can see, it's, I, I got it all cleared up over here. And decluttering is always a losing battle but sometimes when you there's sometimes you win and most of the time you lose but when there's times where you win it's nice to enjoy so that's the take-home message that's why I finally had to give in and start using the dishwasher because it's it's decluttering and moving a lot of the dishes from on top of the sink under the sink so I recommend that you get one instead of a me. That's decluttering. Okay, here we go. So this is this time we are using the proper dishwasher detergent. Let's take a look. And it's nice and steamy and not sure what happened there but we also provided salt okay <laughs> let's see and let's check the dishes looks okay dishes look okay to me and let's take a look at this So it looks all right this time with the proper washing detergent and, we're, and salt. So we're using this one, seventh generation, powerful clean. And also I, we added, I added salt, which is, uh, where is the salt? Okay, so in addition to the dishwashing detergent powder, I don't know how much it cost, the boss ordered it. I put in a kilo of dishwasher salt from Maximus. And also, seventh generation rinse aid for Brilliant Shine, free and clear. Okay, so between these three, so it's finally complete. And it looks pretty good, as you can see. Look at the dishes. Here it is. So after I, I screwed up the first time, it looks pretty good this time. So you just have to you just have to order it from online your your stuff because there's these reagents because they're not available here and they're not available at your store. We looked at SNR and that looks pretty good. See, look at these dishes. And what is this? Oh, this is a Corel. These are dishes that we brought from us all the way from America. And they look pretty good. So if you are like us and you don't have a maid and you don't have a dishwasher, well, guess what? You can, they have dishwashers available here in the Philippines now. So not only does it wash dishes, but it makes also a great rack. So that, so, so far, it has been a success story now that we, uh, one week later, 
we got the 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 materials that we need to get the dishwasher machine. So it, the salt goes over here and there. So you put some salt in there. I'm not, not sure exactly what the salt does. Then you put your, as you can see, your, your dishwashing detergent there. And then you put the rinse in there. You're all set. So we're just gonna, there's some, you just wipe that up and then put it away in the covers and you've got clean dishes. All right, so that concludes our, our uh, finally getting the dishwasher, <laughs> dishwasher machine done here in the Philippines. It's possible that you could see, pick, pick up an appliance at the, what is it, we went to a Abinson's or Anson's and then, then order online from Shopee or Lazada the salt and the rinse aid, it's available there. And you too can have your dishes clean with a dishwasher. Good. Okay, everyone. So that's the update. I'll see you guys in the next vlog. It's been only. Thanks for watching.